Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly water quality monitoring using biological oxygen demand or biochemical oxygen demand. How we can easily use this algorithm in Google Earth Engine platform and then monitoring the biochemical oxygen demand. I will show you all of this process step by step. I hope after completing this step, you will easily learn all of this algorithm and method. And then you can easily make the biological oxygen demand using satellite imagery. So let's go. So first of all, what is BOD? Okay. So mainly BOD is the biochemical oxygen demand. Mainly, it's the amount of oxygen consumed by microorganisms as they decompose organic matter in water. And highly or high BOD, uh, mainly when you can get the high value of the biological oxygen demand, in indicating an abundance of organic pollution open uh, from the sewers, fertilizers or, or agricultural runoff. This can be depleted the dissolved oxygen and suffocating the aquatic life and creating the ecological havoc okay so mainly high value of biological oxygen demand it indicating the water pollution okay and here you can see the biological oxygen demand level milligram per liter so mainly when you can get this type of value one to two one to two milligram per liter it's very good and there will not be mass organic matter present in the water supply when you can get the 3 to 5 milligram per liter BOD, it's mainly fair and moderately clean. And when you can get the 6 to 9, it's mainly uh, poor condition, uh, somewhat polluted water, usually indicate the organic matter present and microorganisms are decomposing that waste. And when you can get the value, BOD value, 100 or more than 100, then it's very polluted water and contains lot of organic matter. Okay. So first of all, we discuss about the method. What's the method in this time I use in here? So first of all, we need to extract the water body from the satellite images. So in this time, you can easily use the different types of water index such as NDWI or you can also use here the MNDWI or if you want, you can also use here the automatic water extraction. Okay. So here I use here the MNDWI. Then extract the water body from the satellite images. After that, I apply the empirical equation, this equation adapted by Wang and this formula used the estimation is shown, you can see the equation, mainly he used the B2, B3 and B4, reflect the top of atmospheric bands 2, 3 and 4 from Landsat 8 images. And this is the equation about that BOD, so mainly uh, it's 1.79, uh, subtract with 0.789 multiply with a uh, b2 band plus uh, 52.36 multiply with b3 uh, subtract with 3.28 multiply with uh, rate so basically this is the equation and it's empirical equation it's provided by the wang to estimate the bod okay using the landsat 8 satellite imagery so now i will use this equation and then try to show you that how we can easily monitor the Biological demand of oxygen. Okay, so basically here you also can see about the time series chart. We are also making this time series chart. Uh, how what is the temporal change of the biological oxygen demand of the water body? We can easily identify from here. Okay, so now let's go about my code editor. I show you that all of those things step by step. So yeah, so you can see this is the code about that. Uh, here I already write the code for monitoring that. So first of all, here you can see. Uh, this is the satellite images. So mainly in this time here, I used the Landsat 8 top of atmospheric satellite images. Okay. And then I just simply extract the water body. So this is the water body. So from this satellite image, I extract the water body. And now this water body, I want to check what is the condition about the biological oxygen demand using the empirical equation of Wang. So here you can see, I can get this type of value. So now you can see here about this value and basically for this water body, we can get the value from 7.29 milligram to 8.93. Okay. So basically we can say that using this, uh, you can see the level, it did, it is the 6 to 9. 
so it's a very poor condition about that so this water uh, usually uh, polluted by different types of organic matter uh, in this water body so that's why we can get this water body this range 6.29 uh, to, uh, to 6 to 9 okay this milligram per liter and here you can see in this time we also get about that this is the low value about the of this uh, bod 7.29 to 8.93 okay so this is the uh, range of the bod of this water body so now how i can develop about that so first of all you need to uh, make the satellite images look like that so for the, this time here you can see here i use this satellite images mainly this is the landsat 8 top of atmospheric reflectance this satellite image i use to get this and here you can see about that all of those band and uh, uh, information about that so first of all i simply import uh, these things in here okay so i use here that and filter this image about between this time period okay so i put this time period of 2021 and i put the get the less than one person satellite uh, less than one person cloud cover images and make the median composite in this time after doing this image i just use this image and then make the mndwi Okay, so basically MNWI is the um, normalized difference between the green band and short wave infrared band. Okay, so just I simply make the normalized difference between the green band and short wave infrared band and calculated the MNDWI. After that, uh, I just struck only for the water body. Okay, you can see it's only struck the water body. So this is my water body map. Okay, because I want to uh, um, uh, calculate what is the condition about the BOD on the water body. So that's why from this satellite images, I just struck only for the water body. After that, from here, I just simply uh, put this equation here. You can see. So basically, this is the equation about that empirical equation of the one. So just I simply put this equation. So here you can see the B2 band, B3 band, and B4 band. And this is the paper about that. If you want to know about the more uh, things about that, you can simply read the full paper. Then you can easily get the more idea. Okay. So here you can see. In this paper, mainly they are used here this uh, empirical equation of the one. So this is the equation, okay. And further, if you want to check about the what is the uh, validation, then they are also calculated about the uh, R square value. So for that, uh, you need that ground truth data, okay, or ground sample doing that. But in this time, I just calculate these things from only for the satellite images. Here you can see, I just simply put this equation in here algorithm about that empirical equation of the one and then we can easily get this result this type of result you can get okay so here we can get this type of things here we can get that this uh, red color identify about that high bod value and this type of blue color identify about the low bod value in this time uh, from this map and here we can find out this uh, minimum bod value is the 7.29 and maximum bod value is the 8.93 okay and which is that uh, condition you can see we can get this level six to nine and it is very poor somewhat this water is polluted uh, different uh, way and indicated that organic matter present in this water body and microorganism are decomposing that waste okay so that's why in this time this water body we can get uh, this type of value okay high value about that so that's why this water is also polluted in here okay because uh, using this level so basically uh, this level you can see one to two when i can get the one to two milligram per liter it's very good okay and three to five it's the fair and six to nine it's the poor and when it will be across the limit 100 or more than 100 we can get the very poor water okay so in this time here we can uh, get this type of uh, math using the biological oxygen demand using that uh, empirical equation of the one so here you can see this is the paper okay okay you also read the paper then you also get a lot of information from here Okay, and when you want to check about the validation, then you have to need that ground truth data. Okay, so mainly you can simply take the some sample from here. Suppose you can simply simply go to the field and take the some sample, and then you can simply do that laboratory test. Okay, after that you can simply compare this value with your satellite images. Okay, suppose in this time suppose I click on the inspector tab, and click on this suppose this type of uh, any point I simply click. So now it show about that you can see for this. Uh, coordinate we can get about that what is the condition about the bod value we can get the bod value is the 8.6 milligram per liter we can get this 8.6 milligram bod biological, biological oxygen demand we can get in here so in this time you also take the some ground truth data from your um and then take the test in the laboratory then you can easily check about the there's a the lot of way you can use at the r square or if you want you can also rmse root mean square method and then you can easily check about the validation about that 
okay so in this time i just show you that algorithm uh empirical equation how you can easily use and then monitor the bot okay so further we also talk about the ps of water how we can easily uh use the empirical equation and calculate the ps and cod okay as well as i already created the some video about that uh total suspended solid of water body then chlorophyll of water body turbidity so they are already available in my youtube channel if you want you can also check it okay so further we also try to discuss about the chlorophyll as well as we also discuss about that uh, how we can easily monitor the ph of water so this type of things we also try to discuss so further you can simply keep in touch in my youtube channel as well as if you want to join my live training session on google earth engine platform uh if you want you can easily join our next class will be start from the 12th january okay and uh booking last day is the 10th january and first 10 days people will get the 50 percent discount is the total seven days online training program mainly this online training program focus the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the programming such as python or javascript or who don't have any knowledge in the google earth engine i hope after completing this online training program you are able to do any types of uh develop any types of algorithm so this type of algorithm you can easily develop okay so you can easily do a lot of things after completing this a total seven days online training program and it will be start from the beginners so all of those things you can easily learn and you can easily develop any kinds of algorithm in google earth engine platform and do for the lot of remote sensing analysis so here you can see if you want to join this online training program simply contact in this whatsapp number you can also contact with this email so in this online training program you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level and we uh, try to complete a lot of things in here so here i already added the syllabus in my video description you can simply check it from here and further if you want to uh when you want to join this online training program you also get the some benefits such as uh you can easily get the e-certificate after submitting all of this assignment you can easily get the all of those material slide pdf you can get the all of those practice code okay as well as you can also get the recorded video class okay you can also get the lifetime teaching support okay so as a beginner so when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face a lot of problem so that's why you need the continuous support okay so when you join my online training program you can get the continuous support and easily learn the google earth engine platform so that's why you can also get this mini pit there is no problem and uh, if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number and email i already added all of those things in the video description you can check it and then you can simply contact okay thank you for watching that